<laughs> the lack of preparation is what puts you in that vulnerable position. So here's the next stage. Now I see someone asked about Ace Chapman. I'll answer that question in a second. Um, the third stage of economic maturity is where you get past the struggle nomics and you start playing the power nomics. And most people don't reach that stage. The, that's the stage where you start saying, okay, I got my bills paid today. But what about paying bills for tomorrow? What about paying bills for the next generation? So that means that you start uh, investing and buying stocks and buying real estate. And then you start estate planning, protecting your wealth, right? That, st that third stage, most people don't reach that stage. They don't. They they get they go from level one of economic immaturity where money is just used to buy toys and candy. Then they go to level two, which is uh, where you're a little more economically mature, where money where your job money from your job is used to pay bills. Right. So you're paying your bills on time now and you have good credit because you pay your bills on time. That's good. But you don't have an emergency fund. You don't have any backup in case you lose your job. So if you lose your job, then that's an economic calamity. So much of your fate, much of your happiness, much of your security as a human being is highly contingent upon whether or not other people decide whether they want you around or not. If they don't want you around anymore, then suddenly you go from uh, from bliss or comfort to catastrophe, right? And then the third stage is where you start building that security and that, that base up and all that stuff. And, and I think all that's fine.